since I'm on a bit of a retreat this weekend, I was thinking about retreats in general and what the purpose of them are and you know why you do them and all that kind of thing. The reason I'm taking a retreat this weekend is because I tend to get a little cranky if I go too long without you know spending some time on spiritual matters and it's been a while. Uh, normally I have a kind of period of uh, you know, spiritual renewal in the fall that was short-circuited for a number of stupid reasons. But for, for this, I was thinking to myself, you know, it's been a long time. I haven't really been uh, as nice to people maybe as I would like to be. And uh, I haven't been thinking about uh, things of spirituality um, in a spiritual way. I've been doing a lot of these videos and other things and thinking about it intellectually, but I haven't really been getting in touch with the inner spark that we all have. And so that's kind of why I wanted to take some time by myself this weekend. There are a number of ways that you could take a retreat. Uh, you could take an organized retreat. You can go find some place that's offering one. There are a lot of places, uh, you know, monasteries and retreat centers and things. And there's actually a pretty good website um, called the Retreat Finder that I'll put a link to in the description. And uh, we actually, just, I found some good retreats there over the years and you can take a look at retreats near you. It's a good resource. But say you don't have access to an actual retreat center or you don't have the funds to spend a whole weekend or week away from your job and your family and, and, and all that, there are things that you can do actually to have what, what I like to call a stay-in retreat. One easy way to schedule a retreat right in your own home is to set aside a weekend where you're going to shut off your phone and shut off your television and shut off your computer and just sit and meditate and read and pray and do all those things that you really know you should be doing anyway but you don't have time for. Um, getting it in in a whole weekend can serve as a good jumping off point for building it into a more regular part of your daily life. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to get away, especially if you like camping. We're getting into prime camping season right now, right before the bugs start and then right before it gets really hot. Uh, so if you, uh, if you have a tent and a sleeping bag and a little, a little stove, a little propane stove, you could go out any place. Uh, state parks are very cheap to go camping and you can really get away from it all for just a little while and concentrate on your spirituality. Most of what I'm doing here this weekend is praying the rosary as I'm trying to get more into the habit of doing that as a spiritual practice. At our upcoming Joanite Conclave, there's going to be a presentation on the Joanite Rosary, and I'd like to go into that with kind of a whole bunch of reps under my belt to really kind of understand what it is and, and how it works. But you could come up with your own uh, program for your retreat weekend. And, uh, you know, if you wanted to space it out, over a longer period of time, you could also do every evening for a week. And, you know, right when you get home from work, you make dinner, you eat your dinner, and then from then on, no distractions. You're just praying, you're just meditating, you're just doing your spiritual thing for the whole week, but just in the evenings. If you're going in for an organized retreat, you could do a silent meditation retreat. There are a lot of places that offer silent retreats. Uh, you could do a programmed retreat where there are things that happen, you know, at various times throughout the day and you take part in those. It can be spiritual, but not religious. It can be, uh, you know, some kind of specific religious traditions retreat center. Um, Gnostics have the ability to be a bit flexible in how we approach uh, the mainstream religions. So uh, as I have been known to on occasion go to retreats run by Roman Catholics and I, I find it pretty easy to think about it in my own terms while I'm experiencing the Roman Catholic retreat. All that being said, I'm thinking about running a retreat of my own sometime in the fall. If you'd be interested, I'd love to hear about it. Put your, uh, your thoughts in the comments below. I actually have a couple of ideas of how it could be structured. Um, it would be definitely kind of rustic like this, uh, but you know, we could stay in cabins and uh, you know, have a nice warm place to sleep if, if you're nervous about camping. Um, there are a couple of options as to location. I'm in uh, central New Hampshire right now and I have access to a facility here that we could use. Or uh, there are places that are more um, down south by New York City, not too close to New York City, but uh, on, the, on the train line that, uh, that might be a good option. If you're interested, do leave a comment and let me know, and especially the location. And uh, you know, if, if, I, uh, if I get enough responses there, I might start planning it um, and, uh, and, and put some things together. Uh, I'm thinking roughly $150 to $200 for the weekend uh, for food and to rent the space and all that. Um, but so if you're interested in that, please do let me know. 
And what do you do to get away from it all and think about your spirituality? Do you do a retreat of some kind or do you set apart a time during the day where you pray or meditate or do a little ritual? I'd love to hear about that as well. So your homework for this week or this weekend actually is just to take a little time and, you know, shut off your phone, shut off your computer, don't check Facebook every 10 minutes and pray and meditate and do whatever it is that you do and just spend a little time one evening to do it. I guarantee you're going to enjoy it and you're going to get a lot of spiritual benefit out of it. And uh, I hope that it works for you and I'll see you next week.